Hey everybody, Ben Stark here with American Top Team Palm Beach Gardens. Today we're going to be going over how to properly throw a round kick from your power side. First and foremost is your stance. My front toes face my target, my back toes are cut about 45 degrees out. In a very traditional stance it's much more narrow and the toes go out about 90 degrees on that back leg. I prefer a slightly wider stance probably because I come from an MMA background. When we're throwing the kick, what's important is that the heel comes up and starts to rotate. As the leg rotates, the back hip starts to lead. As the hip drives, it starts to push your body weight forward, allowing for a chain reaction to come through, hip, knee, shin on contact, right? That's part of the reason why when throwing a roundhouse kick, your hip will pass your target, okay? So again, you're in your stance, front leg leads, toes up, toes down, heels up, hip drive, hip blast, and following through. Using the same side arm as a swing for a counterbalance. So again, good stance, hips raise, heel high, hip drive, starting to pivot, knee drive, and following through, right? Let's throw a couple on the back. see on all the kicks my hips are driving forward through and past my target my shin will land slightly behind my hamstring right you're not gonna land with a straight leg you're gonna land with a slightly crooked leg so your hips can pass your target So as you can see, on contact, my heel is pointing towards my target, my hip has passed my point of contact, my knee has passed my point of contact, and my shin has landed flush and deep on my target. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you like this instructional and it helps you with your round kick, let me know in a comment below. And if you're looking for some awesome new gear, be sure to check out www.revgear.com and use the promo code HAMMER15 to save yourself 15%. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.